it's Jonathan from Core Walking, and I'm going to record a BOSU routine I've been doing lately. This is the BOSU, both sides up, and it is, you know, the greatest exercise tool known to man. I'm a huge fan. I'm going to show you the routine I've been working lately. It's maybe 10 minutes or less, and the thing about the BOSU is there are infinite varieties. So here we go. Starting, just getting up on top. And then I separate the feet apart and five squats. So the easier way to do that is to have your arms out. But if you bring your hands behind your head, it's going to be a little harder. Try, I try to go all the way down. That is not what everybody does. So that's just relative. I think that was five, but let me do another one for good measure. All right, then you can either come down off the BOSU or figure out how to get your feet together. And then we're going to do five more squats with the feet together. Again, fingers interlaced behind the head is harder. Again, I'm trying to go all the way down. You don't have to. Also, I do this in bare feet all the time. I don't think I have ever stepped up on the BOSU in my uh, shoes or socks. So that's that. And then I come off the ball for the next one, off the BOSU, but you don't have to. So the next one is a one foot balance. And I come off because I really like to get my foot right in the middle. And we're going to balance for a minute. And I'm always trying to be aware of my hip points, keeping them forward so I'm not being pulled backwards. Just smooth, easy breath. I'm limiting movement. I'm trying not to shake too much. It's great work going on in the feet. So you can come down to reset the second foot, which is what I've been doing lately. But you can also do it from being up here. A minute can feel like a long time. Almost there. All right, so we're going to go to the second side, and I'm not going to come down. I'm going to try to get my second foot right into the middle. Wait for a good number. I'm, I'm looking at a clock. Second foot, one minute. That was about 10 seconds in between. Probably should have waited a little more. If I do these with my kids, like one of us is on the balance board or doing something else in between, which is also a nice way to break up the series. Trying to keep the hips and shoulders pointing forward, <clears throat> which is indicative if they're pulling backwards, that's going to be weak glutes on that right side and not lifted side. Almost. And release. So I'm going to leave this as a leg workout, but I also, at this point, I usually throw in a one minute, uh, why not? One minute plank. Hit it. You can have your hands forward. I use the grips. <clears throat> I use the outside, feet pretty close together on the inner foot. Softening the upper back. You want control of the head and the neck so it's not collapsing down. You can do push-ups here if you want. No need to overdo it.
one's about halfway. This is an easier plank because you're higher up, but the dynamics of it are just awesome. Awesome. All right, so we're gonna finish with three different things. Um, everyone should own a BOSU. I am not a BOSU affiliate. But it's a great tool. Okay, so this one, this is laterals, and we're doing this for a minute. I'll give myself 10 seconds. All right, so one foot up, second foot up. Side to side, trying to land side to side. It took me a while. I'm always a little bit back with the landing foot and trying to get parallel to some degree. So that was 30 seconds. If all you can do is 30 seconds to start, do that. It's just that both feet hit the ground. All right. And I'm giving myself 30 seconds in between. And go. But I'm just tapping my toe to the floor, not really putting that foot down. Okay, that's that. Last one. I'll give myself another 30 seconds. Find your breath. I might jump out of the frame, but let's see. Five jumps. Enjoy.